how to convert Wix website to HTML code. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I am going to show you how you can download a HTML version or convert the uh, Wix uh, version of your website to an HTML code that you can edit and set up with other uh, HTML modifiers or editors. It is very easy and simple to do. The first thing that you have to do is to follow up the tutorial as always from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go. Now I am on Wix.com. Here is my platform but before this platform we have this um, this dashboard which is the welcome dashboard. Here we have the websites as you can see. Now for these websites you are going to select the main website that you want to download or convert to HTML. In my case I have selected this website. When you select your website your dashboard specific for this website will appear directly. Uh, and here all you have to do is to click on edit site here and the website will appear like that. As you can see, we have a lot of elements uh, on my page and here I have a little disclaimer and a little recommendation for you also. When you download the HTML code of the website, it, did, it doesn't mean that everything you can see here on the Wix um, website is going to be on included or on your uh, HTML file. That means that, for example, when I want to see that button on the HTML file, maybe the HTML file will not detect this button and it will not be clickable. This is an example. Or the text will not appear right here. It will only appear a, a black box. Or, for example, some of the images, the widgets that you have added. Here, these widgets are a specific for uh, Wix websites. These will not appear on your website. Uh, it will be uh, showed as errors. Now let's go ahead and uh, convert the website, which is uh, this one, to our HTML code. Now when you have everything right here, you click on preview. So we are going to see the website that we have. And right here, I'm going to click on a view site. Here we have the uh, preview right here. We don't need that link, but we need the link of the website. That is my link, jacksmithfbads.wixsite.com. This is the website. Now on this website, we are going to select a field. Then I'm going to click on the right button of the mouse. Until I see save as. Here we have save as image. We don't need the image here, for example, this is save as. You can see here, we don't have the save as only option, but we have the image because we have some images right here. But when you click on this blank, uh, the right button of the mouse, we have save as. When you click save as, here we have the type. Now we have the name of the file and the type here we have a web, a web page complete or a web page html only i am going to select web page html only then i am going to simply save it right here it will load up some files then it will be downloaded let's go ahead to the files that we have downloaded and see what we have now as you can see here we have the website downloaded as html here it is html and uh, not everything that we have on the website right here is uh, mentioned or you can see here shown on the uh, actual website for example this is a simple comparison we have the subscription box here page and more on the uh, HTML file, it, 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 we have the subscription box and more, but it is not a drop down menu as on the original one. We have here contact and book online. This uh, text curated subscription box at your doorstep 
you can see that it, it does not exist in this one but it is in our case here for the original one and also the donate for paypal button doesn't exist on the html file here if you want to modify something all you have to do is to go ahead right here click on inspect then we have the uh, console the elements and the console now this is for the uh, console for example the the element you can go ahead and select any item for example this subscription box you are going to select it and see whatever we have and also you can modify it and the same thing will be applied right here we have a uh, some elements i'm going to click on inspect then the inspect inspector code will be shown right here we have the styles computed layout we have everything now you can see right here you can go ahead and see the codes these codes are right here uh, this is a i think html or css you can go ahead and uh, modify these codes or add some codes that you don't see for example, for this one, I'm going back right here. For example, for the font or the template that you can see, you can go ahead and select it. And then you are going to, for example, this one, I'm going to uh, inspect this. Here we have, let's see, let's, let's try and read. What do we have? I'm going to click on inspect right here. We have this. Uh, colors we have the uh, gradient it, it is not uh, as you can see here uh, is not selected but you can go ahead and see uh, or search for the text that we have this is the text color white it is not the case and then you can add simply by uh, right here and the other option which is uh, very recommended is to search on Google HTML editor for website here we have some uh, softwares that can be downloaded to your computer for example notepad plus plus we have the sublime text which is a great uh, as you can see this is a great uh, HTML editor we have NetBeans we have Adobe Dreamweaver we have coffee cup HTML editor and we have also some online uh, HTML editor as you can see W3 schools when you click on it here it will show up something right here I'm going to uh, delete that maybe I'm going to delete something you can go ahead and run here you can delete this and make your HTML file right here let's go and try this and here we go we have the HTML right here click on run and as you can see, it, it the website is uh, set up right here. Everything is set up. Uh, everything is working. And you can add some elements. You can uh, edit whatever you have. But the better option is to download Sublime or Coffee Cup HTML editor. And then you can proceed with the, uh, for example, right here i'm going to download a coffee cup html then i'm going to open up the html file that i have which is right here i'm going to let you see the html file this is the html file then you will be good to go edit it and you will be good to go and you have also to compare the website that you have which is the html format to the actual wix website that you own this uh, will uh, facilitate the task for you and make the whole idea about adding stuff and deleting some stuff. That was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.